ladies. Oh, no, I'll be right back. Medley? Ah! Just can't seem to get away from you guys. Escaping for a night on the town, eh? As DC's most popular playboy, the president felt my uh, presence would be sorely missed, so in the interest of national security, <laughs> here I am. Uh, it's got to keep up appearances. Of course, I don't anymore. I'm a political dead man. Did you ever see anyone cut his own throat like I did today? No. It's all right. Oh, by the way, uh, I spoke to a friend. Reston and Frank will have the story. Times is going to run it tomorrow. We're not going to make it to Monday. Shit. We can get Sorensen to lean on Reston. But you're going to have to call over Dreyfus. This is the sort of decision the publisher makes himself. All right. Thanks, Kenny. <sighs> yes, sir, I understand. But, you know, we held in the Bay of Pigs. It was the biggest mistake in my life. What makes this different? Oval, I'm asking you to hold the story until I can present our course of action on Monday night. All right, but I'm going to need a reason to give my boys. They're going to be screaming from my head on a plate. Listen, all you tell them this, that they'll be saving lives, including their own. Yes, Mr. President. Opland 316 for the invasion of Cuba has been underway for 10 months. But it now has a new immediacy. The timetable is for Marines to land in Cuba just eight days after air attacks start. Opland 316 involves 500,000 men, including 40,000 Marines, almost 15,000 paratroopers, a thousand aircraft, and 180 ships. Elements of the 1st Marine Division leave Camp Pendleton, California, for a voyage through the Panama Canal and into the Caribbean. Tom Brooks was a naval intelligence officer with the task force. Leaving San Diego was one of great enthusiasm. Anxious to go get them, we're going to throw the Soviets out of there and you know teach them this is our hemisphere, and we're going to do away with Castro once and for all. As President Kennedy 